to politics now. Democrats have narrowly blocked an effort by Senate Republicans to overturn President Obama's policy on contraception insurance coverage. It is a heated issue, and it's led to controversial comments by conservative commentator Rush Limbaugh. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell is on Capitol Hill for us this morning. Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning, Savannah. So this all starts with the president's health care law, and then it gets into the fierce debate over some personal issues like women's health and birth control and religious freedom. Now, that can be volatile enough, but then you add Rush Limbaugh and his harsh words toward a 30-year-old woman. I don't believe I am a pawn. Sandra Fluke is a Georgetown University law student and activist for women's reproductive health. So Ms. Fluke... And the rest of you feminazis, here's the deal. Rush Limbaugh, the conservative provocateur with 20 million listeners, made Fluke his target after she spoke out on Capitol Hill in favor of a new Obama administration rule that would require health insurance provide free birth control as preventive medical care. Contraception, as you know, can cost a woman over $3,000 during law school. For a lot of students who, like me, are on public interest scholarships, that's practically an entire summer's salary. Limbaugh, who called Fluke by the wrong first name, then called her some very ugly things. What does it say about the college co-ed Susan Fluke, who goes before a congressional committee and essentially says that she must be paid to have sex? What does that make her? It makes her a slut, right? Makes her a prostitute. She wants to be paid to have sex. Limbaugh the amped up the shock system. factor. If we are going to pay for your contraceptives and thus pay for you to have sex, we want something for it. And I'll tell you what it is. We want you to post the videos online so we can all watch. Furious Democrats quickly defended Fluke and fired off a demand that Republican leaders denounce Limbaugh. There is no call for those kinds of comments. Those are very inappropriate and they should be repudiated by lots of people. This all happened as Senate Republicans lost their battle Thursday. The motion to table is agreed to. To allow employers to opt out of providing birth control coverage if they have a religious or moral objection. On the campaign trail, Mitt Romney fumbled, first saying he opposed that Senate bill. I'm not for the bill, but look. Later corrected himself to say he supports it. Rick Santorum pounced. Well, then after his consultants talked to him and... Then he came back, oh, I said I didn't understand the question. Reacting to Limbaugh's fury, some conservatives said he was crude, but they agree with his pay. larger point. It's absurd to suggest that birth control should be a free uh, product provided by taxpayers for all women, no matter what their income. It's ridiculous. And Democrats in the Obama administration say by providing that kind of service through insurance at no cost, it actually reduces health care costs over time. And Republicans are telling me that they will not let this go. They plan to bring up the issue of religious freedom and not having government force employers to do something again. So expect this to bubble up one more time.